These people do not stop, and this is what our farmers have been under for decades, yeah. and it is not fair. You sicko. You are the face of one of the most murderous, torturous industries on earth. You're equivalent to Hitler at this point. Ah! <laughs> you absolute joke. You are the biggest piece of shit I've ever heard, mate. This is a joke. It's really gone too far. It's really gone too far. Oh my God, mate. The crocodile tears of an evil, evil industry, eh? This is about how much compassion I've got for her, eh? Zero. Hello everyone, so we've got an absolute doozy of a video today and that's a positive doozy, not a negative doozy. <laughs> what the f is a doozy? Hello everyone, so we've got a very interesting video today and I come across this video from Australia. Good old Australians, mate. They're such melodramatic drama queens when it comes to their precious protected species of farmers. No matter what farmers do, they are just protected and we're so proud of our farmers and oh my God, they're coming after our farmers. This one here, I mean, this this was actually very skillfully done this video. Um, the way that they completely deleted any mention of the motivations of activists here. But anyways, let, let's just, I'm just gonna watch it with you and go through this. This is, this is a cracker. Welcome back to the show. Well, six protesters will be charged and another two fined after bringing Melbourne CBD to a standstill during peak hour yesterday. These activists seem to be taking over anything they want and now they're going after our farmers too. Now they're going after our farmers. Oh, they, they stopped the traffic. Why did they stop the traffic? Like, what is, their, what is their goal? I mean, you might not agree with the tactic, but they obviously had some kind of message, did they? I'm just wondering what the message was. Me watching this, I don't... I don't really know what the activist message is. I, 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 could, I could probably guess what their, their message is, but it seems like they're taking over everything. Have you seen the amount of farmland on Earth? Joseph Paul's research said 83% of farmland. The UN said 77% uh, of the world's farmland is taken up by animal farmers. So it would seem to me that they're taking over and they're mass killing all those animals. So they're taking over with a motivation to kill animals. This word farmers is such a positive sounding word as it's farmers, they're coming after our farmers. I forget to mention farmers torture animals en masse and murder them in horrible, horrible slaughterhouses. I forget to mention that. My team uphold the highest level of care. Who is this woman? Oh my God. Her name's Margot Andre. She's the CEO of Australian Pork. Wow. How dare you with this sob story. My team uphold the highest level of care for everyone in the industry. Except for the animals that are factory farmed, kept in farrowing crates, have their piglets heads smashed against the ground, have their teeth clipped down, have their tails cut off, suffer horribly in gas chambers and slaughterhouses in Australia. The pork industry in Australia is vile, disgusting, sadistic, horrifying, torturous treatment of innocent beings. And you dare, you dare sit there with a straight face acting like a victim saying, we care for everyone in the industry. Well, what about the pigs? Well, you don't care about them, do you? I've been to uh, these factory farms in Australia. They're disgusting, horrible, vile hell holes, just like they are everywhere else in the world. And uh, just watch Dominion. It's, it, it, Australia is one of the most investigated countries on earth at this point because of the Dominion team, Christelle Force. She can sit there with a straight face and say this, th and people will lap it up because there's no mention of why well, the activists are motivated to do what they did. They're doing the best that they can do. And to have these people do what they do. They're doing the best they can, torturing animals en masse in Australia. Like, what are they doing? That's great. And what are these activists doing? Who are these people? They have taken photos of my team celebrating International Women's Day, put it on separate social medias and called them murderers. Well, that's because your team are complicit in the murder of pigs. What are you? Let's look them up. With a progressive pork organisation. Progressive? What are they trying to do? Progressive wash the pork industry? A producer-owned industry body working every day to represent Aussie pig producers. So here she is, Margot Andrew. And you think that you, because you're celebrating uh, International Women's Day, you're completely absolved of any responsibility uh, for what you're doing to these female pigs in sow stalls, which they found out they're supposed to phase out sow stalls, but it got investigated, it got exposed. Still using sow stalls, farrowing crates are ubiquitous across the pork industry in Australia. You don't care about those females, do you? But you're celebrating International Women's Day, you don't think you can be called a murderer, seeing as all those pigs are being murdered. I think the word murderer definitely describes Australian Pork Limited perfectly. That is not acceptable. No. It's not acceptable to call you a murderer, but uh, it is acceptable to gas 85% of pigs in Australia and to keep them in factory farms, is that acceptable? They are coming to our office, they are pretending to be a plumber for goodness sake. Listen, these activists are completely non-violent. They're applying pressure on Australian pork for what you do to pigs, for what you do to pigs. You're missing that part out, Margot. Acting like the victim 
like a hilarious sob story and people are just lapping it up. To get access to my office while they hide in toilets, God knows how long they had been there. It is appalling and this behaviour should not be supported. You know what behaviour should not be supported, Margot? The horrifying pork industry in Australia and around the world. Disgusting, vile treatment of animals. And uh, you can sit there with a straight face and say that activists dressing up as a plumber, hiding in a toilet, putting some stickers up, applying a bit of pressure in creative ways, completely non-violent, is at all on par with mass murdering millions of beings and torturing them in farrowing crates and smashing their babies' heads on the ground. You are the face of one of the most murderous, torturous industries on earth, the pork industry. You're equivalent to Hitler at this point. These people do not stop, and this is what our farmers have been under for decades, yeah. and it is not fair. You know what's not fair? Breeding animals into factories, keeping them in cages for six weeks at a time, killing their babies when they can't produce piglets for you anymore, sticking them in a gas chamber and then mincing their body up to be put in a sausage roll. That doesn't sound fair either, does it, eh? Omitting the reason that activists are doing this is the height of dishonesty, but I wouldn't expect honesty to come out of your mouth anyway. When you cannot walk down to your sheds and open those doors confidently thinking you are safe. Oh my God. Has an activist ever assaulted a farmer? You name me one time an activist has ever gone to a farmer's shed with the intention of harming a farmer. Even if you go to the ALF, right, which I would consider one of the most militant orgs, right? ALF call for non-violent direct action, right? They used to do property damage and things like this. Obviously, that's not what we do anymore. Now, they had a principle where they could not harm a human or animal in the process of doing their property damage. When has an activist ever harmed a farmer? Uh, the, the farmers are harming innocent beings en masse, and then a farmer's going to be scared that he runs into some activists. Where, where all they do is film. Film the atrocities. And you're shaming activists for filming atrocities? Is that because you want to cover up atrocities? Thinking your teams are safe. Yeah. They are doing their jobs and they are very proud to yeah. provide food in this country. The Nazis were just doing their jobs like Himmler was just doing his job. Uh, rounding Jews up into gas chambers. and You know who else was just doing their job? The soldiers who dropped bombs on children in Palestine. They're just doing their job. To say that you're just doing your job does not take away any accountability for your actions. Like, think of how stupid that is. Now, what the public have to recognise is, yes, the farmer is doing that job to supply people with pork. So just look at who's responsible for the supply chain and it's the, the consumer. I think we should definitely direct some of this criticism to the consumer or some of this message to the consumer and say, hey, if you don't want farmers torturing animals in these sheds, please stop supporting it. And I just think at some point, people have to stand up and protect Australian farmers. <laughs> protect Australian farmers. Like, we're not talking about potato farmers and broccoli farmers and bloody wheat farmers. We're talking about farmers who are raising sentient beings in factory farms, torturing mothers, and then gassing pigs in CO2, which is now, it's just, everyone knows CO2 is cruel. It causes pain, suffering, respiratory distress. I mean, like, this is old news. Even from, an, like, I'm an animal rights activist. I'm concerned with the, the violation of animal rights. When you slaughter an animal with a bolt gun really quickly, that's a violation of their right to life. You can violate animal rights in quote-unquote humane ways. This is an egregious welfare issue as well as a rights violation. Like, we're talking about torture. We're talking about torture. And you want to protect Australian farmers. Because we are doing the right thing. We are going above and beyond. Yeah. And these people need to be called out. You need to be called out. You're essentially equivalent to some of the worst people in history through the animal's eyes. You are the CEO of Australian pork who mass torture animals, right? And you don't want a bit of pressure? Get out of the job title if you don't want pressure because you're going to get a lot more of it. And she said that activists aren't going to stop. Well, of course we're not. Of course we're not. We'll stop when you stop torturing the animals. Like, how about that? How does that sound? Mm. Bravo. Oh, bravo. You are the biggest tosser I've ever seen, mate. Bravo. So you just want to listen to Margot's speech and you, you want to completely omit certain facts? Watch Dominion. Australia is now, like I said before, one of the most investigated countries in the world at this point. Case closed. The farmers, quote unquote, we should call them something else like animal abusers, actually. The animal abusers in Australia have been exposed so many times, it's almost pointless to keep exposing them now. It's just, it's done. The job's done. Like, I, I don't, 
know how many more times they can be exposed for torturing animals in factory farms in Australia. Let's bring in the CEO of Australian Pork, Margot Andre, in Canberra now. Margot, livestock farmers have been subjected to this kind of relentless harassment for a while now. Well, I wonder why, because they're decapitating animals, because they're torturing pigs. It's like saying, oh, child abusers, like the poor child abusers, you know, they've been subjected to this kind of abuse for a long time, haven't they? You know, people calling them names and things like that, and then when child abusers go to prison, they get bashed. I mean, poor child abusers. What about the children? Like, in the same, like, vein, what about the animals? Like, you sick, speciesist, human supremacists. Are you more concerned with the feelings of the animal abusers than you are with the suffering and murder of all these animals? And look at Margot, she's just like lapping it up. I bet she, she likes the smell of her own farts. Listen to her, she loves hearing herself defend the farmers. These are sick, sick people and you need to be called out. This woman needs pressure. Like, look at her. We're talking decades. Decades that our farmers have had to battle this. Invasions on farm, their privacy being um, taken away from them. You don't deserve privacy when you're abusing animals in dungeons. You sicko. They did an investigation on the basement here, like, yeah, I had some women tied up and enslaved and I was about to cut their head off and eat them, but, you know, this person coming in with a camera filmed it, invaded my privacy. Like, are you serious? You're more concerned with the invasion of privacy. When do they film in the farmer's toilet? They don't do that. They don't sit there and film the farmer in having a shower. They're in there filming what he's doing in his shed, torturing animals to death. They film their families, their children. You, She should be sued for defamation of character. She was talking about an individual here. When do activists film farmers' children? Like, she's just making lie after lie after lie because she knows why these activists are acting in the way they are because they've got a lot of dirt on the pork industry, don't they? So she's coming out to put a sop story on the public to try to get public against the activists, which is actually quite dangerous when you think about it. This psychotic leader of the most vile industry in the world, almost, is um, turning the public against these activists like they're unjustifiably filming farmers' children and, and harassing good old Australian potato farmers or something like this, you know? It's just appalling behaviour. Ah! <laughs> you absolute joke. Now you've got some free-range pigs here, eh? Is that what you're showing? Some free-range pigs? This is This is... Look at this, this is Australian farming here. This is Australian farming, absolute joke. Show the factory farm, show the gas chamber footage. Recording devices yeah. hidden, like it's ridiculous. They hidden the toilets for goodness sake, enough's enough. Oh look, you absolute sook. If you wanna be in the position as a CEO of the most vile industry on earth, expect pressure. Expect activists who, to come and put some pressure on you. All you have to do is say, you know what? Pork industries, I denounce it and we should abolish it. And let's create some Australian vegan bacon. Simple. How about that? I mean, Margot, I watched this yesterday. I, I don't think there's been a more powerful testimony um, on behalf of farmers in mm. a long while. Mate, you are the biggest piece of shit I've ever heard, mate. Look at her face. This is... This is a joke. This is disgusting behaviour. Look, oh, mate, your testimony for these poor Australian farmers who are only just trying to do a good job. Flesh-eating pig blood drinking zombies. You're concerned about her testimony. Why don't you look at Dominion, mate? Is he completely delusional about what farmers are doing to animals? And this, her face, her face, she's like, this is the last straw. I hope you're feeling that pressure too. Sucked in. Feel the pressure. In Senate estimates yesterday, um, that's how busy my afternoons are. <laughs> uh, but but it's, it's such an important story because, I mean, what are these people doing? What are they doing? They've exposed the pork industry in Australia and they're putting pressure on it. Farmers are contributing. Mm. Yeah, they're contributing to the worst animal abuse and cruelty and violence and animal rights violations on earth en masse. Or has your f memory lapsed? And you were subjected to this, um, this, this form of bullying. This is one of the most frustrating videos. She's subjected to bullying. She's CEO of f mass murdering animals f limited. And we need to be really clear. We don't mind. People have a choice on what they eat. <laughs> if people had a choice, right, why do you have on your website all this bull crap, pigs in straw? Why do you pay for these advertising campaigns so that the public make a misinformed choice based off of your propaganda? They don't even know what choice they're making because of your propaganda. Look at this. Okay, poor pork sliders. See you tonight. Oh, yum. Yum. Pulled pork sliders. Yum. You're on the list. Yeah. Dinner winners are easy when there's pork on your fork. Pork on your fork. All they do is, is advertise pork as a tasty, delicious meal. All of these ads completely omit 
what animals have to go through in the pork industry in Australia. They completely omit it. So, yeah, people have a choice, but it's a misinformed choice. The lifestyles they live, all mm. of those sort of things, everyone's entitled to a voice. But this has crossed a line. Of course we have a choice to be vegan. Like, you shouldn't be allowed to have a choice to fund such horrible, horrible violence. These, these industries shouldn't even be legal. Like, I can't believe they're even legal at this point. You should not have a choice to do this to animals. This is really bullying into that bullying and harassment. And as I said, we have a right here in Australia to feel safe. And our farmers don't feel safe. I mean, we have to get our offices and farms scanned for recording devices so that we know our children aren't being monitored. Oh, what a loser, man. I can't believe she just said that, eh? We have to be careful the farmers' children aren't being monitored, you know what I mean? Because the, the activists are concerned with children. That's the, the lowest of low, and I wouldn't expect anything more from her. I mean, she's CEO of Animal Holocaust Limited, this woman. So, like, yeah, I wouldn't expect anything less but low blows. She's calling activists like child predators, basically, when the only predators are you in the pork industry predating on innocent beings and gassing them to death in horrific suffering. It's really gone too far. It's really gone too far. Oh, my God, mate. The crocodile tears of an evil, evil industry, eh? This is about how much compassion I've got for her, eh? Zero. Like, this has gone too far. That Why are you involved with an industry that's mass abusing and murdering animals? One. Two, why are you saying that activists are trying to target children? Low blow, absolute load of crap. Activists are completely non-violent. They're in there trying to expose what's happening to childlike beings. These beings have about the intelligence of a three-year-old. They are sentient, conscious beings like human children are. And the activists are in there defending them, uh, putting uh, cameras up to expose what's happening to them. And you're completely omitting all of this. Why are the activists even doing this? You haven't mentioned it once. I mean, you gave us a pretty good rundown yesterday of the scale of this. Are there anything that do you think the farmers can do to try and prevent this this kind of harassment? I've got a great idea. Stop abusing animals and murdering them en masse. That's what the farmers can do. And the public ought to stop supporting it. And Australian Pork Limited should stop their propaganda campaigns that manipulate the minds of the masses and encourage them to purchase these disgusting, vile, cruel, torturous, murderous products. Yeah, so our farmers have to go above and beyond in terms of biosecurity and protecting their farms. Well, these our farmers go above and beyond for biosecurity as they're murdering, torturing, abusing animals. Even looking at their own monitoring devices to protect them so they can actually tell their side of the story. You should put them in your farm, actually. Then we could maybe we can go and just take the videotape. You do the job for us, eh? You know, maybe the farmers should monitor the animal abuse that goes on in their farm. Inside the shed, in the farrowing crates, monitor the suffering of the mother for the six weeks she's in there. How about that? We do tell everyone to remain vigilant. And most importantly, if you do see something, um, we do have to give a shout out to our police force because they do respond. Mm. Just a shout out to our police force. They're, they're filming our children. Absolute nonsense, baseless claims. Um, the police force should be wanting to defend the innocent beings that are being tortured and murdered. That is real justice. That is real serve and protect, isn't it? Unfortunately, no one wants to serve and protect the animals except for the activists. And now what you're doing is you're slandering them, claiming they're trying to harm children when most activists that I've met are just as opposed to human abuse as they are to animal abuse. Now, you can't call yourself a victim when you're the victimizer, okay? The activists are not victimizing the farmers, okay? Or you. The animals are the victims. But you won't see it like that, would you? You'd see them as just sausages or a piece of property. You don't care for these animals. And now you've got a bit of pressure onto, onto you. You're having a massive sook crying crocodile tears on TV. And I don't have one iota, one atom, one subatomic particle of compassion for you. Just be remaining vigilant, looking for things, cars that don't look quite right, people that don't look quite right. Um, actually be a little bit suspicious. I would encourage activists too, if you see anything suspicious on any farm, things that don't look quite right, if you see someone who probably looks like they want to go ahead and abuse animals, if you see a slaughterhouse nearby your house, um, report to your local activists and let them know that they're there. And then we can all work together to help expose these horrible places, put pressure on industries and you know, work towards a vegan world where animals are not being mass exploited, abused and murdered. Um, and call it out when you see it. And most importantly, um, do not um, take these people on. Um, actually go to the authorities and call them. Well, it's a bit late for that, Margot. You've just publicly said on TV that activists are trying to target children. How sick? Like, don't you have a, a brain? Like, what we have is an actual accusation against animal industries. They are abusing and murdering animals and violating their rights, right? But you are making baseless claims about activists and children that could get activists harmed. And now you're saying to people, 
oh, but mainly don't try to take these people on. You've just aggravated everyone. You haven't shown the abuse, violence and murder that the activists are actually responding to and the reason that they're conducting their protests and pressure campaigns here. You haven't shown none of it. You've completely evaded it, conveniently, but deliberately. Margot, this, well, this is not just your industry, and this is the issue here. And we saw yesterday in Melbourne, um, you know, again, uh, storming a retail sector. Um, we, we see dairy farmers targeted. Um, we see cattle, um, uh, meat producers ta um, targeted. Yeah, basically those who violate the rights of animals being targeted and because they're targeting innocent beings who can't defend themselves. But you won't, re you won't um, mention that, will you? And look at their speciesist little headline here, acting like animals. What, you mean being tortured in a factory farm and gassed to death? Because that's what happens to animals in Australia. No, these these activists here are acting like uh, people who care. Animal rights are being violated all over the world en masse, right? And the second an activist speaks up about it, they're all of a sudden the monster for saying, hey, can you please stop abusing those animals? Can you please stop violating their rights? Can you please stop murdering them? Oh my God, look, these activists are poor farmers. They go around like they're a protected class just because they, what, mass abuse animals? Why don't you ever mention the plant farmers who also bring in food for the country, right? They do a good job. It's always defending the animal abusers. Why? And we're seeing this now with, with you. Th this is sector wide. Uh, and, and it needs to stop, but do you get any indication from anyone that it's going to stop in some way? It's not stopping. We won't stop until they stop. They stop torturing animals, we'll stop doing activism. Yeah, and look, it was really nice yesterday in estimates to see the politicians in the room on both sides of politics actually call out this behaviour. She's having a massive sulk, mate, because you know what you've done. You know what you're doing to those animals, right? You know that what you're the CEO of. She knows more than anyone. She's seen all this footage. This is why she looks like this, because she knows the reason why she's getting pressured, right? Look in her eyes. She knows very well, like, what she's hiding here. And what she's trying to do is put it back on the activists, trying to have a stronger accusation against the activists so they can avoid the accusation against the meat industry. And it's a terrible accusation. It's horrifying. The activists are just going to go, this is why we're acting on this. And agree that there's always need to be coming to our industries to tell our stories rather than just that one photo, that 10 word um, heading. We need people to actually be a bit more informed. And actually, well, as I say, we need Australians to actually back um, our agriculture industries. We are highly regulated. You scumbag. Now she's, she's encouraging people to back her industry knowing how horrible it is. And then she's saying it's highly regulated. What do you mean by that? Highly regulated? How come activists have to go in there and expose it constantly and you don't have independent uh, bodies going in there to, uh, to go in and police farmers? They, they act with impunity. They have the sheds out the back of their house. No one goes in to check up on them. Activists do, and it's a hellhole every time. Funny that, eh? Funny, like, I could walk into any pig factory farm right now and it will be horrible every single time. How is that? That's amazing. What a coincidence. We operate under mm. very strict rules, independent audits. Independent audits? What, by your own, your own vet that you chose? Old Farmer Bob's best mate, the vet? We go above and beyond. You're a scumbag. Above and beyond who? Hitler? Pretty stiff competition. So maybe if um, there's always two sides to a story, actually let us have our voice more often mm. as well. Oh, let us have our voice. Our voice is being stifled like... Uh, have you heard the screams of animals inside gas chambers lately? Have you heard the screams of... Piglets having their teeth clipped off. I hope you hear their screams in your bed as you're trying to sleep. I hope you don't sleep, okay? And all you can hear is their screams. Good on you. Well, you've got one here. Nice to talk to you, Margot. Oh, wow, you've got a supporter here, dear. You're an absolute joke, mate. If you've seen what you're defending right now or who you're defending and what the activists are actually acting because of and what you've just you said you're a supporter of, I mean, you should hang your head in shame. Absolute joke. Well, that was the biggest joke of a video I've ever watched. That there really, really got my blood boiling. The way that she went about that manipulative, conniving, sly evil kind of woman to make this about her when she knows more than anyone the kinds of disgusting cruelty and abuse and killing that happen in her industry right she wants to be the face of it and now she wants to play the victim and claim activists are doing something they're not in order to put the blame on activists to avoid accountability for the egregious crimes against animals that the pork industry commit on a day-to-day -day basis. Just pure scum and the hosts have been easily hoodwinked by it. So most of the Australian public would probably be hoodwinked by her as well. But 
thankfully the truth is coming out, the pressure must be working. So that's a good sign. Keep pressuring, keep raising awareness, keep doing different forms of activism, keep pushing.